I'm also convinced that consolidation of local government from a political standpoint is usually pretty difficult. As you may know, for every one community that does this, and you, you've got fewer than 30 in the United States, by the way, right now, um, there are three or four that fail. You know, Louisville failed twice before it succeeded, and it and that's when uh, my good, the good doctor was mayor down there, um, Harvey Sloan, and uh, then Jerry Abramson showed up, and he's pretty dynamic in my opinion, and he was able to convince people it was wise. I will tell you this little story. For about two years, Lexington had more population than Louisville, because Louisville's population was really in the corporate area was going down because they were going in the suburbs around. And Lexington was getting bigger and we merged, so we picked up the county folk. And we had about 275,000 people, I guess, and I think Louisville had maybe 260,000. So I was asked to talk up in Louisville on well, maybe this subject or another one. And, um, and I was happy, Jerry was there, so I was happy to say I was really the former mayor of the largest city in Lexington. He's delighted to be with you and talk about that subject. So then, then of course, they merged and that took care of it. So they're, they're first again. Um, but it sort of made a point, I guess. The, um, what were the conditions that made it work well for us? And uh, I, I'm familiar with which I think you have six incorporated cities in the county. We had one, Lexington, so we, it was much easier to resolve. We had merged our school systems. We had two independent for the city and county. We had merged that six, uh, in, uh, 10 years before, in 1964. One of the superintendents took another job and they said, now's the time to move. Let's, uh, let's put them together. Um, we had a very good political climate between the two. Bob Stevens was county judge. And I was the mayor and uh, we got along fine and he, he was uh, staunchly for it. So, and every single member of the fiscal court and the city of Lexington went for it. Uh, we had strong support from all civic clubs. We had a well-organized campaign in which we raised money that went through the Chamber of Commerce to pay for the campaign. Um, and there was no organized opposition, although a former mayor kind of groused about it a week before, saying that the city was going to get mistreated in the whole process. Um, but that didn't happen, in my opinion. Um, and then I say, what has been the result uh, in, of merged government in Lexington? Well, we had, I uh, mentioned, significant increase in some per public services, like police and fire, as I've, I've mentioned that. Um, and of course, we avoided some duplication. Let me just pause a second and tell you about what we had there, duplicated services in, in Fayette County, the city and the county government. We had, uh, of course, two full-time paid police departments, county and city. Now, the county people were not so well, uh, so trained very well, but anyway, and they didn't compete a lot. Uh, we had two parks and recreation departments. We had two uh, offices to, for street repair, road repair, we had the county jail in the city, and the city jail was in the county. <laughs> yeah, you know, it makes sense. Um, we had two law departments, of course. We had two purchasing departments. We had two accounting and auditing departments, one in each government. We had boards and commissions for parks, you know. We had a city hall and, of course, a county courthouse. Now, services that were not duplicated, which were already combined, a garbage and refuse collection, although the city had its own people and still does, there were, there were private collectors too. But we, uh, uh, public housing, urban renewal, sewage treatment was uh, only once. Uh, we had a, a library, it was a city library, but the county got to use it. Uh, we had street cleaning, leaf collection, and so forth. And the county did welfare and home for the aged. Combined service, that's, those were all separate, I should say. The combined service, we had a public health board, we had planning and zoning, 
we had one professional staff, but you know, when the recommendation is sent up to the legislative body, the fiscal court or the city commission, you wouldn't necessarily get the same kind of results. Uh, we thought that the county government was a little promiscuous in granting zoning, because then when it's granted, then they look to the city for the services. <laughs> And it may or may not be appropriate for the city to come up with that kind of money to do whatever they wanted, you know, just roads, streets, and, and uh, sewer services and other things. And we had a little racket about that back and forth. Um, so that, to me, we, we have a unified, whether you're correct or incorrect, is only one place to go to get land use planning, and that was a big issue in, in, in Lexington and still is. We had went, uh, one building inspection for city and county. We, of course, the airport, board, uh, and public schools, of course, were combined. That's kind of what prompted some of the uh, desire to merge. Um, we have a more responsive government. That's what we planned on. I'll have to tell you the, uh, see, every, the, the, the county, and the city officials were all elected at large. They might serve in the district, but they were voted on by everybody. In the city, at one time, not too long ago, in the 50s, we had the mayor and three out of four commissioners, city commissioners, lived on South Ashland Avenue, and the other lived on Hanover, which is right behind. Well, a lot of people might feel that they weren't so sensitive to other parts of the town. <laughs> And they might be right. But anyway, perception is pretty much reality. And so that was another thought. Uh, we need to spread out the responsibility. And the concept was, of course, to have these districts. And so you did have to be rich and famous to run for office. If you want to work hard enough, if you want to go door to door, you want to talk to people, educate yourself about what the issues are, uh, you can do it. And that has been done. We had a fellow named Joe Jasper who uh, was a garbage worker. He ran and won, and frankly, he's a pretty smart fella. He just got in the booze too much. And so it was made for interesting meetings of the council. Uh, but I see Joe once in a while now, and uh, he says he's been on the wagon for a very long time. So see, merger can help everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've mentioned, of course, much better representation by minorities. Um, we have now, of course, a, a member of the council who represents a substantially white district. He's been on several times. He does a good job. I mean, it's not just uh, you have to live here. Of course, now, uh, uh, since we have don't have the neighborhoods that are solid black or solid white, but they're totally mixed. I've heard some of my good African-American friends say, hey, we're losing political base. I said, well, you got to decide what you want. <laughs> and we shouldn't have to vote just because of he's black or white or whatever he is. And um, so that seems to be, I think, working pretty well. There's not really been a problem there at all um, because the problems of one neighborhood, pretty much the problems of all, um, another thing, too, um, when you have one set of elected officials and everybody is looking to that government for decisions and leadership, um, you also get a kind of a, a community spirit that works together. There's not competition. There was a lot of competition between the city and the county, elected officials, because some are going to run for that office or something else, and it's just different attitudes. You have, you know, it doesn't mean that you're going to be smarter or wiser, but at least it's one-stop shopping, particularly when, when companies come to town and want to maybe locate. They don't have to go to three or four or five different people to get permissions. Now, you all have six communities, incorporated cities, I understand, and you have, I, I was blown away with four planning areas. Well, um, it might be nice to have one place to go and get an answer, and swiftly. 
Um, so we have that, and that was, um, we just had one planning commission, one staff, but we had <coughs> different attitudes by the legislative bodies. Um, we were able to pull off some things that I don't think we'd have done before. Remember when uh, we had the Final Four in Lexington in 1984? I don't think we'd have been able to do that if we hadn't uh, had one government. Um, I, was, I went with um, Adolph Rupp and contingency uh, to have the, the, no, I was in 85. I went and had uh, to try to get them to um, give us the Final Four, I think in 1984. And old Adolph was kind of flagging, but he still had his sense of humor, of course. And we, we said, look, let's give him a pint of blood and a pint of whiskey, and let's go make a presentation, which <laughs> we did. <laughs> and it didn't work that year, but it worked the next year. Uh, and uh, so he was there to see Rupp Arena built, you know, and it was pretty, pretty special. Uh, I don't think we, we would have had uh, the Rupp Arena complex, uh, the Civic Center complex, without uh, having one government. Even more recently, uh, last year, we had the uh, World Equestrian Games, and that was a big, big event, a lot of volunteers. I don't think we'd have had that if we had two governments or more in the community. It gives you a sense of unity, and you can pool the brains and efforts and the dollars, which are not always enough, to do that. Um, I think that um, for us, the consolidation of government was a great success. Uh, and it continues to be. You know, it's been 40 years almost since we got it started. <clears throat> How could that be? But anyway, yeah. and you know, the first few years there was an effort to unscramble the egg. Those who were, we won by a two to one vote, but there were still 15 or 16,000 people voted against it. And they, we had some problems there, but uh, uh, we did get into the business of doing fixing the sewers. I had to go to the legislature get twice to get the Enabling Act to do that, uh, but we did it. And um, let me talk to you a little bit about what happened, what, what some of the results.